Good day, human Latios Lights. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Polka Aqua. Here we are in New York. Last time, we took on the Trick House, and we got the Old Amber so we could get ourselves an Aerodactyl, which is necessary to complete the Pokedex. This time, however, uh, I actually went and I went to uh, complete the Pokedex. Now, um, you'll see that I actually did complete the Pokedex here. In order to complete the Pokedex, you do have to catch pretty much all the legendaries. So, um, if you failed any of them, in order to do what we're going to do, uh, you're going to have to, um, well, you're going to have to have caught them. So if you fail anything like that, that are like there's one of, you're gonna have some trouble. Now, the only other thing I can think of you could probably fail is once again if you threw out the old amber after you obtained it, uh, then you're gonna you're gonna basically be uh, in trouble because then you're gonna you're not gonna get Aerodactyl. If you if you remember when we were in Rosewood, we found the Snorlax. That's the only way you can get Snorlax. Except, you actually can find Wild Munchlax in Sacred Field. So, I call that Snorlax Forgiveness. If you didn't catch this, the one chance you had at Snorlax, you can actually catch a Munchlax and then evolve it. So, it's not it's not the end of the world if you didn't get the Snorlax. But for the Legendaries, uh, there's really no other way of getting them. So, you're going to have, in order to get them in the Pokedex, you'll have to actually get them. Uh, other than that, I mean, if you get Fiona, you got to just breed Manaphy. Um, and for, well, another Pokemon that can be a little bit difficult to get is, uh, Carbink. In order to get Carbink, you have to actually purchase it from the game corner, so you're gonna have to actually get some coins for it. Apums and Stuffle aren't that difficult to find in the wild. Dratini, you can just get that in Sacred Field, it's relatively common, but it's post-game. Porygon you can find, it's not the most common thing in the world, but you can find it in um, Luther Corp 33.1. But the only thing you can get that you need to get from the game corner is Carbink, because there's no other way of obtaining it. So you are going to have to actually go through the game corner to do that. So yeah, in order to complete the Pokedex, you literally need to... Um, get a gold star, like four stars in your trainer card, because obviously you have to beat the game, but you have to, uh, you have to beat the Pokemon League to get this stuff in the post-game. You gotta complete all, f um, all five Master Rank contests in order to get Meloetta. You gotta get a, a winning streak of 50 in the Battle Tower to get Volcanion. Meloetta and Volcanion are required for the, um, for the, the completing the Pokedex. Now, you might be asking, why do we need to bother completing the Pokedex? Because if you speak to Professor Beach, if you complete, if you speak to Professor Beach about it, then uh, he'll actually say, Ah, oh, Eric, have you come to show me how the Pokedex quest is going? Hmm. So you've seen 202 Pokemon, you've caught 202 Pokemon, congratulations, your Pokedex is complete. Hmm, on a nationwide basis, you've seen 386 Pokemon and caught 386 Pokemon. Alright, he doesn't really do anything special. He really doesn't. But, he's not the one that you need to be worried about. Pokemon Trainer Fan Club. Name a trainer just scribbled on here, okay? Oh wow, it's Eric! I've heard the news! You're really strong, aren't you? We always argue about who the strongest of all trainers here is. So when we heard about you, I decided to be your fan. I helped you keep on battling other tough trainers. That way you'll be able to see more of your hot hot um, we'll be able to see more of your hot hot battles. That'll make the others here see exactly how great you are. Remember, I'm cheering for you. Oh, Eric, go for it. I'm pulling for you. Oh, wee! Wowie! It's Eric, for real, too. Please shake my hand! Shake my hand! Stephanie is so cool. I want to meet our city's hero. Yes, I see strength in your eyes, but you still haven't realized your potential. You're a pretty decent trainer, I think. But I also think the Klaus is number one right now. That's just my opinion. Don't worry about it. 
Norman battle with more power and charisma and showmanship than you. Even though people may say that you're strong, you've still got a long way to go compared to your father. Among all the trainers out there, I'd say the best is the one who started his career studying po um, studying battle calculations, only to prove only to move on to researching the evolutionary potential of Pokemon. Not only does Professor Palm continuously research Pokemon, he's also very impressive at battling. I don't think any trader could even compete with him in terms of being the best. Hmm, even Professor Palm has fans. Interesting. Alright, well, here's the Sunshine Suites for luxurious vacations every day. So, there's this guy right here. I'm the game designer. Oh, is that right? You're working on a Pokedex. It's tough trying to com um, complete it, but don't give up. If you complete it, please come show me. So, yeah, we did complete it. Wow, that's awesome. Yep, it's totally awesome. This Pokedex is completely filled. You really must love Pokemon. I'm so impressed. Let me give you something in recognition of your feet. And with that, we get a diploma. So, Player Eric, National Pokedex, this document certifies that you have successfully completed your Pokedex. So, we got a, uh, we got a diploma from Game Freak. Cool. Alright, so, yeah, all he does is give you a diploma. Now, once again, really not a whole lot special about a diploma. It's cool and all. It's cute. I'll give it that. But once again, not exactly anything that particularly special. But what you really want to get your Pokedex uh, completed for is on the ship. So let's take a little trip to Miami. Let's go. We hope you enjoy your voyage on our ferry. Welcome aboard, Eric. It is truly um, an honor to have the Pokemon League Champion aboard. I am the honorary captain of the SS title. You can call me Captain Briny. You know, I retired once before, but when I saw this majestic ship, let me just say it stirred my sleeping soul as a sailor. Please enjoy your ride aboard this luxury ship. Ah, cool. Nice to meet you. Hi, Pico. All right. So here you have uh, your room on the ship. Now there are some trainers on here. I do. Uh, recommend to go challenge them because you know there's an interesting little uh, twist with some of them but we're not really gonna do that uh, today so here we have Professor Palm hey Eric how's it going it's such a nice day to go looking for new Pokemon you know what if you can actually fill the Pokedex that Professor Beach gave you I'll give you something quite nice so with that we actually did fill it though Oh my goodness, Eric, I knew you could do it. You've actually gone and completed the National Pokedex. Congratulations. To mark this day, please accept this Pokemon for me. So with that, we obtained Cosmog. So that is the only way to get Cosmog. Now, co notably, Cosmog is not in the Pokedex. Which is why you don't have to actually, uh, you don't have to catch it to complete the Pokedex. In fact, it has to be the other way around. You can't obtain it until you complete the Pokedex. Might seem a little anticlimactic, but you know, you're just given it. But still, it's not like it's that strong. This Pokemon is called Cosmog. The extent to its power is unknown, but I think it'll have some fun with you. Anyway, I have a meeting to attend, so I'll see you later. Bye. Alright. So, I guess he's going to a meeting. Fair enough. Also down here we can get a, uh, we can get leftovers. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Nothing really out of the ordinary about that. So yeah, that is how to get Cosmog. So you might be thinking, all right, now we have Cosmog. Now what? Well, there is something we can do once you have Cosmog. Now, you can evolve your Cosmog uh, just like you can in um, you, you can in, in Sun and Moon. Um, 
you can switch between Solgaleo and Lunala using the, the Sunstone or the Moonstone. So, you know, you can choose... You can have whichever one. You can't have both, though, at the same time. They are both in the game, but you can't have both at the same time because you only have the one Cosmog. However... Um... Oh yeah, someone else we didn't battle is Wally, so... You know what? Wally does battle in second post game, so let's actually have a battle with him. Alright, Primeape, you're about to, uh... I'm just gonna run. No need to mess with you here. Hi, Eric! I've gotten stronger since the last time. I wanted to show you, Eric. Okay, here I come! Alright, let's do this. So, we're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Wally. We only got a team of five here, but you know, that's okay. I think I, I think he'll be uh he'll probably still have an overpowered team, be my guess. So as for the Cosmog though, the Cosmog is only level 10, so it does have a lot of training to do if you want to actually get it to evolve. But obviously you don't have to evolve it for the Pokedex's sake, because well it's not in the Pokedex. That is essentially your your gift for completing the Pokedex. Alright, so... With that, we have defeated Porygon Z. Next up is Glade. Alright. So for Glade, let's Icicle Crash, even though I don't think it's not gonna flinch. I don't think it can't flinch, but what we can do is maybe because it's stab. No, we didn't quite KO it. I was hoping to be enough to KO, but unfortunately it is not. Alright, we should be able to take this though. We did take it, but not by much. Alright, let's meteor mash. Alright. So, you know what, he can keep on healing. Because we want to get the boost. Alright. We're just not getting the boost, are we? Come on, give me the plus one. Come on. Alright, we are getting the plus one. All right, next up is Gardevoir. Let's Meteor Mash again. No boost, we are taking that thing down. And finally, he's going into Azumarill. Not technically his ace, but... You know, let's Drain Punch. He is going to E-Speed us, so that's going to take us down. That is going to take us down. Alright. Alright, you know what? Dax, let's do this. Let's, let's Thunder. All we got to do is live this Hydro Pump. It is a special move. That is a special attack. I think we can take it. I think we can take it. Alright, so we're gonna Thunder, and that is gonna do some damage, I'm thinking. That should do some damage to this thing. That should do some damage. That should do some damage. So, with that, we have defeated Wally. Wow, Eric, you're so strong after all. I couldn't beat you this time, too, but one of these days, Eric, I'm going to catch up to you and challenge the Pokemon League. You know what? Good luck with that, Wally. I wish you good luck with that. So, you can battle Wally post-game uh, just like normal. He'll only battle you once a day, though, unlike a lot of the other post-game trainers. But, you know, it can help you with training if you want to battle him again. But, you know, he's there. You can battle him. You don't have to battle him. It's your choice. Whatever. It is what it is. But, 
the big thing after you complete the Pokedex. Once again, not just complete the Pokedex, but once you obtain Cosmog from Professor Palm, you are able to um, go to this thing. Remember this boulder that said something in Braille? Yeah, this is what's more interesting. So this boulder looks too, way too heavy for even a Pokemon to easily move. Hey, something's engraved on it. Now, basically what this thing is telling you is to, uh, to, uh, uh, essentially find Cosmog in order to, um, well, in order to see an eclipse. Well, we got Cosmog. Everything suddenly went dark. Was that an eclipse? Something started to attack from above. And now we take on the final legendary of the game, Wild Necrozma appeared. So this is how to get Necrozma. So yeah, you can't get Necrozma until really late game. I mean really late game. As in, this is essentially the last thing, uh, the last big thing in the game. I mean, you can, you can get, you can do some more battling afterward, I guess. But this is the, this is the hardest thing to unlock because you've got to complete the Pokedex before you can access it. All right, let's Thunder Wave. I'm afraid to weaken it too much because it is, because we do have some, we are super effective against it. Okay, how much damage does this do? Because we might be able to Thunder. I think we can Thunder it. Although, that shouldn't Oko. It doesn't Oko. You're going to take us down, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Alright, you know what? It's fine. We're going to die to the burn anyway. So Dex is down. Let's bring in victory. Okay. That's Ultra Ball. So yeah, Necrozma is it is difficult to get to only because it is the it is the last legendary Pokemon. In the sense that you literally have to catch every other legendary Pokemon to get it, but there we go, we got it. In fact you gotta catch every Pokemon. It's not in the Pokedex, so that's why it's giving us this glitchy thing. Alright. So let's give our Necrozma a nickname. Let's call you, um, now, you know what, I'm going to call you, let's call you Spectrum. All right, so Spectrum went to the PC. It seems the heavy boulder was destroyed. So there you have it. With that, we have uh, captured the final legendary Pokemon in the game. So with that, we've essentially done pretty much all of the stuff in the game. So except for one more thing that we're gonna do. We're going to take on the Pokemon League one more time. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time when we challenge the Pokemon League one final time. Goodbye!